welcome to the lecture one. Uh, myself, uh, Professor M. Uh, I'll teach uh, digital circuits for Gate 2021. Uh, today, uh, we will see the syllabus uh, which is there in Gate 2021 exam. Uh, let me cover the topics uh, what are there in Gate 2021. Uh, first, uh, there are different number systems and then Boolean algebra, minimization of functions using Boolean identity and K map. Logic gates and their starting sequence implementation, combination circuits, sequential circuits, ADCs and DACs, semiconductor memories, AG85, microprocessor programming, and I interface. Uh, let me say uh, a brief introduction about each and every topic. First, we consider number systems. Okay, uh, what is a number system and why do we need numbers? Uh, if I say the numbers, we use the numbers in our daily life. Okay, so many places we use the numbers, uh, but we don't ignore that we are using them. Uh, let me recall the places where we use the numbers. Suppose if you want to call a person, we use that mobile number to call him. That we don't use the numbers. And if I say how many topics I have written on the board, then we'll be using the numbers in order to talk. Let's say I have written 9. Okay, there are 9 topics on the board. So we'll use the numbers in order to count. So we use the numbers in so many places in order to count. Okay, here number system means uh, a number system which have a base and a range. The base is nothing but the total digits present in the number system and the range specifies what are the numbers present in the number system. Then Boolean algebra. When it comes to the Boolean algebra, uh, we do know that normal algebra. Uh, in normal algebra, we will be solving so many equations. It is slightly deviate from a normal algebra and the Boolean algebra has only two identities which are 0 and 1 and it deviates from the normal algebra that we see when we get into the topic Boolean algebra. Minimization of functions using Boolean identity and k -naps. Here, minimization is nothing but reducing the larger expression into smaller expression. In order to do that, we use a Boolean identity or a k -map. Okay, These are used in order to reduce the Boolean uh, expressions. Then, logic gates and the static CMOS implement. So logic gates are the basic building blocks in order to construct the digital circuits. In order to design any digital circuit, we need logic gates. And the combination circuits, yeah, we already know. The definition of combination circuit is output depends only on present input. Okay, that's what we call as combination circuit. There are some examples. I hope you can recall the examples of combination circuit. For example, adder, subtractor, multiplexer, demultiplexer, encoder, decoder, code converters. These are all comes under the combination circuits. And then the next part is the sequential circuit. We can take the definition of a sequential circuit as the output depends on present input and the past output. Here, the past output can also be considered as present state of the device. If you consider some examples of a sequential circuit, the basic building block of a sequential circuit are latches and flip-flops. That means we use latches and flip-flops in order to design the sequential circuits. And the examples of sequential circuits are like we see counters and registers. Then ADCs and DACs. ADC is nothing but analog to digital converter and DAC is nothing but digital to analog conversion. As we all know that there is no such signal which exists in the real world which is in a digital form. So all the signals which are existing are in an analog nature but we are dealing with a digital. So first of all we have to convert the analog signal to digital then the digital signal has to be converted back into the analog form. And then semiconductor memories. Here semiconductor memories are ROM, RAM. Those ROM is nothing but read only memory. RAM is nothing but random access memory. 
Then we are going to discuss about 8085 microprocessor. How we are going to write assembly language programming in 8085 and how we interface the devices with the 8085 microprocessor. Now, we take a teach and every topic. Before I explain the topic, the weightage given to the subject digital circuit in gate 2021 or any gate, if you observe the previous year parallels, around 8 to 9 marks, we can expect around 8 to 9 marks from the digital circuits. Okay? And it's one of the easy subject at the same time, a tricky subject in gate. Because everyone can easily solve the problems which come from the subject digital circuit. At the same time, there is a possibility of getting negative mark. So, one must avoid the negative marking because in gate, the negative cost a lot in the rank. Okay? Now, we consider topic by topic. So the first topic is number systems. As I said earlier, we use numbers in our daily life. Okay, in order to count how many there are, in order to specify, uh, in order to call a particular person, we use the numbers. We use numbers uh, in so many places. Uh, in number systems, the number systems, what we are going to learn is first decimal. And the second one, binary. And the third, octal. And the fourth one, hexa. This. These are the four number systems we are going to learn. In order to define any number system, we need two things. Those are base and range. It means to specify any number system, we need to define what is the base of that number system and what is the range of that number system. Now one can easily comment about the base based on the given name. For example, if you consider this, the deci means Ten. So, we can say the base of the decimal is 10. And if we consider the binary, we take the starting part by. By means 2. So, we can say that base of the binary is 2. Next, if we consider octal, octa. Octa means 8. So, we can say now the base of the octal is 8. Then, the next number system is hexadecimal. Here, hexa means 6. Again, the decimal is 10. So, 6 plus 10 totally counts 60. So, the base of the hexadecimal is 60. Here, in this manner, one can easily comment about the base of the given number system. These are the four number systems we are going to learn in digital circuit. Apart from this, we can design our own number systems. Okay? For example, I have designed a number system called Trident. Suppose, if I design a number system called Trident, can you guess what might be the base of Trident? So, I already given a hint. Based on the name, one may comment on the base. Now, as you take it, the name primary, here this gives a key, try. Try means 3. So in that manner, you can say the base of a primary is 3. Okay? Now, we come to the range. Range specifies that what are the different distinct digits present in the given number system. Here, I repeat. The range specifies that what are the different distinct digits. Distinct means if a digit appears, it must not reappear again. So, decimal has a range. Starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 6, 9. Then, binary. Binary has a range 0 to 1. After 8, it has a range 0, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, and etc. Now we consider the hexadecimal. As I said, it's a combination of decimal and hexa digits. So it takes first ten decimal digits. You cannot use 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's why they started using the first six alphabets of English, which are A, B, C, D, E, F. And here, when you are counting, you can count A as a 10, B as a 11, C as a 12, B is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. So, range contains what are the different distinct digits present in the given number system. Now, based on that, you answer this question. Primary, I said the base is 3. What will be the range of primary? So, the range of the primary will be 0, 1, 2. Now, one understanding is the total digits present in the range will be equal to the base. So, if you count the number of digits present in the range, that will be always equal to the base. For example, if I consider binary, there are two digits. If I consider octal, there are total eight digits. If I consider hexadecimal, there are total sixty digits. Now, if you consider binary, there must be three digits. One, two and three. Now, if, you, if I give another question, I designed a new number system called rectangle. Okay, now I have designed a new number system here and I named that number system as rectangle. Now can you comment about the base and the range? As I said, the base you can predict from the name. So here I have used the name rectangle. Based on that, you can predict the base. So, recta. Recta means you can consider rectangle. Okay. So, you can say it is 4. Now, range. When it comes to the range. So, it's 4. It starts with a 0. Then, 1, 2. And ends with a 3. Now, if we count the total digits present in the range. 1, 2, 3 and 4. That must be equal to the base. Now here, one important logic is the total digits present in any given number system. The total digits present in any number system will be equal to total digits. Present in any number system is equal to base of that number system. Now, another important observation is. The maximum digit of the given number system How can you say what is the maximum digit of the given number system? So from the earlier if the number system is decimal, it's end with a 9. If the number system is a binary, it's end with a 1. If the number system is octal, it has ended with a 7. Now you can make a relationship between base and maximum. If you take base is 10, the maximum is 9. If the base is 2, the maximum is 1. If the base is 8, the maximum is 7. If the base is 60, the maximum is f. But we consider the value of f as 15. So we can say it will be equal to base minus 1. It's one of the important relation. Try to remember this. 
the maximum digit of the given number system will be equal to base minus 1. Now, based on this understanding, we will consider a problem. The first problem in this lecture is in a particular base, in a particular number system, the base is 99. The maximum That can be represented is capital X. The total digits, distinct digits present in that number.
B will be the correct answer because they have asked the value of Y and the value of X. So here the value of Y is 99 and the value of X is 90. So do remember the point? You have to read the question very carefully in game. Okay? Because the options will always be in a confusion manner. So there will be two options which are very similar. You have to be very sure about taking the correct answer. Why? Right? Because if you pick a wrong answer, it gives a negative mark. So be careful even about the negative mark. Okay? Right. So here from this question, we understood two important points. Total distinct digits will be equal to the base and the maximum digit. The maximum digit will be equal to base minus 1. Try to remember those two points. Now, we move to the next concept which is Number system conversion. Number system conversion is nothing but converting from one base to another base. Here, why do we need to convert the numbers? First of all, try to understand what is the purpose of converting a number from one base to another base. Let us consider an example. Uh, we, we consider an example here. Suppose uh, you stop uh, at a night in a boot two around uh, 11 o'clock. Okay? Then you took a cab, uh, you booked a cola, uh, then uh, you had a ride from boot two to Vichewada. And that driver knows the number system very well. Okay? And in a one year walk, he said that, give me the amount base 2, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, base 2, when you reach the destination. Here, when you reach the destination, the driver is a funny guy and he knows that you are an engineering student and you know the number system conversion as well. And he goes the number which is 101000 and he said that best to give me this.